yo, yo, what's up, everybody? It's your boy, The Ghettoographer, a.k.a. Pastor Tech, coming back at you with another unboxing video. And today, we're going to be unboxing this right here, the Zherwin uh, 5-Ray M20C Full Light Combo RGB, this puppy right here. And I don't know if I'm saying the name right, but the Zherwin is Z-H-I um, Y-U-N. In. And sorry guys, I know I haven't done nothing in about three weeks, been sick, been sick like a dog. Me and my wife caught something and it just would not let us go. We will feel better two days later and then a day later we'll be back down with the shiver and sick. So I'm feeling better now. So this puppy right here will cost you $169. This is the combo. So once again, now for the combo, I did not look at the price for the regular without the combo. So I'll put that in the link below. But this is the combo for running you 169. So without further ado, let's get to the Eagle Eye View. But before we get to the Eagle Eye View, do me a favor, please like, share, and subscribe. I want to thank you for the continued growth of the channel. I know I haven't dropped nothing in three weeks because I was sick, like I said, but I want to thank my new and current, current and new subscribers for rocking with your boy. So please like, share, and subscribe. Give us a thumbs, a, a big thumbs up because it helps us get into the YouTube algorithm even deeper. So without further ado, let's get to the Eagle Eye View. Welcome to the Eagle Eye View. This is how the box looks. See that? This is the name. Z Zinjun. I'm guessing that's how you pronounce it. This is everything that comes in the box right here. Again, this is going to run you around about 169 depending on, I guess, the setup. This is the, the light combo. I don't know if it comes any other way. I didn't see it coming the other way, but I'm guessing you can't get it without the rest of the um, stuff that's in here. So let's get to opening this. Today we're going to be using the Terminator Salvation Knife. They're coming to get you. We might as well cut that right there. Over here. All right, let's go ahead and put this up so I won't cut myself because if I cut myself, it's not going to look good. All right, let's go ahead. Woo, there we go. Got the cellophane off. That's how it look. Oh, okay, go that way. So let's go this way. I think I had it right. Oh, here we go. So as those boxing go, this is your typical unboxing. I mean, four hundred sixty-nine dollars. I thought it'd be a little bit better unboxing, you know, a little prettier. But it's, it is what it is. We got got our books. Got our start quick start guide here. We got the service care. And then we have the main unit. It was kind of heavy, guys. That's kind of heavy. We got this. We have the pouch. Please never eat these, guys. Please never eat these. Anything else in here? And nope, nothing else in here. So let's get this out of here. Okay, so we, it comes with a carrying case. Now, I'm going to be honest with you. For $169, I understand, you know, but I'd rather to have a hard carrying case, guys. So I'm all, my first gripe. I mean, this is okay. It was stretchy, you know. But you know, if it dropped, you're gonna have problems. Cause that's not. I would rather have a hard case. So, Zunjun, however you pronounce your, your your product, please next time put it in a hard box. It should be something that you buy separately. Now we have a USB to USB C. I say USB USB C to USB C. Sorry, guys. So here we go. Not pretty decent. Pretty decent. Not too shabby on the on the wires. Okay, let's get to the main unit here. Okay. Right, here we go. All right. This is this is heavy, guys. This is really heavy. Okay. Look at that. Pretty decent. So our guys have a center it. All right. Okay. We have the flappy things. Okay. Okay, I like that. It's pretty good. Okay, so we got the flappy things. Okay, now you have to know how to close it. Okay, this is one, two, three, four. So please look at the numbers and close them right. Don't be like me, about to bend and break your stuff before you even get a chance to use it. So make sure you do one, two, three, and four. 
Let's see how we can get this off. Okay, it's magnetic. Okay, I like that. It's magnetic. So two things, okay. Magnetic. So we got this part here. Okay. Then we have this here, which I've never seen nothing like this, guys. So I don't know what this stuff is called. So I'm learning right now, just like you. So these are all magnetic. So we got this piece here. So then we have the actual diffuser. So the diffuser. So you have a diffuser. I know what that is. That's a diffuser. And so do you have the main unit here? Okay, before we turn it on. So before we get to this, let's find out what the other pieces are called. I will be right back. All right, guys, I am back. So, like I said, I know this is a diffuser. This is what's called a honeycomb grid. Now, I have to look at it to find out what this is used for, because I've never seen nothing like that. So, my first time. And they call this a four-leaf barn door. So, I'm guessing you could focus the light, you know, in or kind of out. You know, kind of getting it in to, you know, uh, I guess a focus point. You can focus the light down. Sorry, guys. And you can, you know, kind of broaden it out. So I'm, I'm guessing that's what this is used for. Again, I'm sorry, guys. I have never seen nothing quite like this. I never took drama or anything like that. So I don't know. So some of y'all guys can tell me in the description. Uh, or in, in the comments below, what are each item? I know this is the diffuse light, but what is this used for right here? So I will look it up, you know, at the end. And then it also comes with um, this thing comes off too, which is the um, extension bracket. I'm trying to see how I get it off, guys. The extension bracket. Okay, now I see it. The extension bracket is right here. So I'm guessing that we have to unlock it. Okay. Extension bracket, you push it up. Don't be like me trying to rip things off and that comes off. Okay. So I'm learning something new about this. So now I did look up just for the light itself. It's 139 to get everything that you see here. The combo is 169, which I don't think that's a bad price for the combo. So for the combo, you get the diffuser. The honeycomb. Do you get the do you get the extension bracket? And then you get the barnyard. I mean the leaf beam doors. I'm sorry, it's called the leaf beam, not barnyard doors. I'm sorry, leaf beam doors. I thought I said barn, but no. Leaf beam doors. Okay. So sorry, not barnyard, but leaf beam doors right here. So so 469. You get all of this. So that's what you get, including the unit. Now, could you probably buy these separately? Probably have to go to their website. You can buy the parts that you want. But I think it's pretty good for everything to flow like it do. You know, so pretty decent how it flows on. I like that. So, okay, guys. So well, let's get to the main unit. And we'll fool around with this. Okay, let's get to the main unit. This is the main unit here. And as you can see, it's pretty good. Let me give you the, the, the deets on this real quick. This is the um, uh, M20C Combo RGB Video Light, 20 watts, portable camera light. Um, it has a HIS, no, HSI mode, TLCI 69 plus temperature of 2000. 500 to 10,000 Kelvin with nine light effects, support magnetic um, attraction and app with USB-C. So this also have an app. We will get to that in a minute, but um, let's get to the main unit, guys. Again, this will cost you just for this 139 for the combo 169, which I think if you're going to spend, you know, just go ahead and get the combo. All right, so let's turn around. We see on the side. Now, one thing you will notice about it is it has a fan to keep everything cool. 20 watts RBG, so it has a fan. We have the on, you see that's the on and off. I guess you could turn it up or down. 
then you might control the temperature here and it goes in so you might be able to control once we turn it on see how that goes at the bottom you have your usb um c again you have these the, 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 to get enough air to this um you know because it's going to probably pump out a lot of heat this is i'm guessing this is the battery the unit here it's a battery um so basically that's basically how it goes before we turn it on let's see how it charges up i did bring the big boy out here here so let's go ahead and see how this charges up guys to see what kind of recognition it gives when it charges up. Okay. So you see right here, it allows you to see where it's charged up. So let me get it a little closer, guys, right there. So you see it. So it's charging. Okay. It takes about, it lasts about 40 minutes, sorry. And it takes, uh, I'm guessing maybe an hour to charge. And you can use um, power because you can use um, power protocol. It's called PD protocol, which is fast charging. So you can use fast charging with this. So let's go ahead and get this turned on. It's going to ask you what language you want it in. You're going to use this one right here to put English, and you're going to press it in. It's going to give you that. Then it's going to turn on. Now, there we go. That's how it looks, guys. So let me see. Turn it off. All right. The way that it tells you to turn it on you have to press it and then press it again and then it comes on so let's do that one more time turn it off you're going to press it you're going to press it until you see the well i did it again so let's do it one more time guys all right you have to press it and then press it again. So you have to press it, then press it again. That's what it says. And then it comes on. There you go. That's how it looks. So let's see if we can get, see how we can do this. Okay, now, this is the dim. So you can make it this side. This is the dim side. Right side, dim. You can make it all the way down. Turn it all the way down so that works. Okay, that's pretty good. All right, and then on this side, you can switch it to how, how much type of temperature you want to change it. See, so okay, we're changing it. So we can go up again. Okay. Okay, that works. So now let's go again down. So this side controls the dim, the Calvin, and then I guess we have to. I don't know what that does. I guess it's okay. I don't know what that is. So if you do know, let me know. So it goes from negative all the way down negative to all the way up to positive. So positive. So here we go. So that. So now how do we turn on the RGB? Okay, let's see. Okay, so we have to click it again to get the RGB. I'm not trying to hit you with the lights. I'm going to do it this way. So we have to click it. Okay, so every time we click this one, it activates. So, so then how do we change the color? We still dim it. Okay, so we change the color like that. How do we get different colors though? Okay. Also, we got the hue, we got the saturation. All right, so now we change the color, guys. You got the hue, you got the dim, you got the hue, so you can change the colors. Okay, and then you got the saturation, which probably would be easier if I would just download the app. So let's go ahead and get the app. Let's go ahead and cut this off. Be right back. Let's go get them kind of ticked off a little bit because this app situation 
was crazy. But before we get into the app situation, I did look up um, what this is for. This basically directs the light right at you. So that's why it's, it's in the honeycomb, I guess, the honeycomb pattern. Um, so basically the light, I guess it won't scatter, come right direct at you. So that's what this is for. So I did find out what this is for. This takes about two hours to charge, between one and a half to two hours to charge. Now let's get into this app situation because I'm going to ding it for this app situation. And I'm going to show you why. So now if you want to get is Z-Y-V-E-G-A. Right there. And what you're going to do, you're going to hit that. And this is the app right here. Make sure you get this app. They have a lot of apps, but you want to get this app. So you want to install that. No, it's installing. So we're going to open it. Now, as you can see, you know, we don't want to put, we're going to have to agree to some stuff. All right. I have to agree to some stuff. Allow. So now we turn this on. Again, we have to do it right. Mm -mm. One press, then a long press, then it comes on. Now, you're going to need the app, guys. I'm going to turn this down a little bit. You're going to need the app. Because if you look at that two or the three inch screen, four inch, whatever it is, that's a lot to be trying to deal with with, G, with all the different modes this has. So the app has to work. It has to work. So what we're going to do is to make sure that everything goes right. What I want you to do, you see that one? It says menu. It says language. Um, Bluetooth reset and version, right? You want to go down to, you want to click down to Bluetooth reset. You want to hit yes. Before you do anything with the app, hit that. I mean, hit, hold on. Hit yes. And let the Bluetooth reset. As you see, it's resetting. So I'm trying to show it's reset. So it's reset. Then you can put it back to no. And then what you're going to want to do with the app. Now, I'm going to tell you why I was having problems with the app. The app comes with that right there. Automatically, when you when you come into the app, you see this demo thing. And when you click on that. Now, normally what you could do, you just hit that and hit add device. Let's do that again. You hit that plus up there, hit add device. Now, it's not going to add the device. Now, it took me almost two hours to figure this thing out. And it kind of rubbed me the wrong way. So what you want to do is you want to go ahead and you want to delete. So let's do that one more time. I know I'm doing this kind of fast. You want to hit those three buttons. You see those three little dots right there. You want to hit that. the three buttons, but the three little dots. And you want to hit delete. You want to hit delete. So now it's going to say create. Right? So you want to hit create. You will hit confirm. Now, what you want to do is after you hit that confirm, you want to hit, well, not that. Hold on. You want to hit this again, and you want to hit control center. Control center. And it's going to say, no device is set yet. Please add device first. You want to hit add. That's how you find it. If you do it any other way, you're not going to find it. So now we, we hit that. We hit add, and now you see what it's doing. And it says successful, and now we can go into it, and now everything is working like it's supposed to. There we go. Sorry, guys, I had to take it off that version. You have to get it back to the regular. So you can see now I'm, I'm, it's working. You can turn it off. It goes into sleep mode. You can turn it back on. Um, you could turn the, the Calvin as well. Do the brightness as well. Okay, then we can hit. Now, we got that going, right? Do it like that a little bit. Now, so now what we're going to do, see if we can get it to the RBG. RBG. 
Okay. You got fluorescent lamp. You got sunlight. Um, I'm sorry, guys. You got fluorescent light. You got all these, all these different type of daytime. So now I'm trying to get it to the RBG. So how do we get it to the RBG? Give me one second, guys. Got to figure this one out. Nope, don't want to do that. Got custom settings. All right, guys. Now to get it to RGB, you have to go down here. And you have to hit the color one. And then it'll, it'll give you the hue. You can see it's changed the colors. You can do it right here. Change colors. As you can see, it's changing colors. I'm going to do it off screen so you can see it's changing. So my hands won't be in the way. We can make it bright. And it's changing the colors, guys. So that's pretty good. And it's all due to the app right here. So you can, you can do it like that. Change the red, blues. And then you can change it. You have your presets if you want to. Um. You can change it back to white. White is in the middle right here. So you, this app is what you need. Now you can. You, now the problem is you can do everything without the app. You know saturation. So now I can make it more saturated, depending on how how I want it. And then if you want to go back to white, um, you know for us you hit that. You hit, let's go back to there, and then it go, turns it back. So. Now, all that can be done by using this little screen. Now, I'm going to go out the app. All that can be done also by using this little screen right here. It can be. The problem is the screen is so small that you actually need the app to be able to use it. Um, to me, f to the fullest extent. Now you can do it with this little screen because you can change it. You hit the button. I'm gonna turn it down a little bit. Turn it down, damn it. Hit the button. You can do all that. RGB. You can do everything. Everything you can do with the app. You can do with the button. Now, guys, the app is going to make this really functional for that average user. That average user that buys this is going to want the app because the app is going to make it really give it that robustness or whatever you want to call it, be able to use the full functionality of it. This screen you can't see. Now, I'm getting kind of old. It was hard for me to see that little screen. Now, I can see if this was a little bit bigger and it had a bigger screen, you could have buttons on here to say color, you know, different buttons for everything on these two. Now, I'm not saying it's not, to me, it's not that intuitive. To me, you know, the app is more intuitive. So I would say without the app working right, the average person is going to have a hard time. Now, if you're already into using something like this, know how this something like this works, you're going to be good. But for the average user, they're going to need that app. So I'm going to ding it because the app should have worked. I shouldn't have had to figure nothing out with the app. But let's go here. I do like it, guys. We're going to get into the regular view in a minute, but I do like this. If you look at this, this has, you know, cold shoe. You put on your camera. Or you can put it on a tripod. You have different cold shoe. You can put one, two, three. Has literally um, four or three extra, you know, where you could attach stuff to it. So I do like it, guys. Right, before so, we go to the regular view, let me do this. I wanted to compare it, like, to two other um, of the panel lights that I've been using. Now, this one here is 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 a lot more versatile than the ones that I've been using because of the accessories that comes with it. But one of the ones I was using now that has RBG is this one right here. And this is the Ulanzi um, VL120 RGB. I don't know how much it is right now, but when I bought it, I think it was like $39. And one thing I can say about it, it's, not, it's a lot thinner, 
but it's not going to draw, it's not giving out as much power as this one here. But, you know, as you can see, it comes with three buttons. Now, I'm going to tell you, I like this design a lot better. Three button, because watch this, guys. Now, to me, now this is just me. I'm going to turn it on. And you see, it's already got some color to it. But look how clear that, now I know there's a little dust. Look how clear that is to me. That's a little clearer than this one here, than this one here. This one is a lot clearer. Now, we have the main button here, which allows you to change everything. Take it back to just regular. And then you could turn it up. Turn it down. Turn it to a different type. And then you can hit this button again. I mean, I hit that button. I'm sorry, guys. Um, hit this one right here, this wheel. And it takes it down. So you have the wheel that goes up takes it down this one goes up and then you can this will takes it down so this one and, and it has all the colors rgb and i like it better because look how now i want i want you to see that now i'm not trying to be look at look how clear that now that's small but you can do everything this needs to do without an app but when you start getting to something like this guys and again i'm just going to go ahead and show you And you see, I got to do a two press system to get it done, pressed and long press just to turn it on. But to me, that screen, it's hard for me to see it versus this. Now, and just maybe it's just me, but if you look at it, I can't get it side by side that close. But you can see, I like this one the way it looks as far as the um, screen. I think the screen on here isn't as good as the screen on here. Now, that just could be my, just me. Now, I'm, I'm, I'm willing to say it's just me. And my other one that I, I was using for two years now, I had these both for about two years now. The other one I had was the Loom Cube. Now, Loom Cube, this one I got, I think I got this from Best Buy. Or might have got, no, I got this from Best Buy. And at the time, it was 119 I bought it for. Probably got it on sale, probably cheaper than that. But they were going for max price, about 120 119 130 um, and this is how it looks. This is the diffuser. comes with that. But this is how the panel looks. Now, it's much thinner. Now, it's not going to have the power out. Like, again, this is going to be able to do a lot more. It's more powerful. But look how thin it is. $69.99 right now. And this is what I've been using. Now, this is the button arrangements. And both of them also, this one is, um, um you could charge up using C. C it comes with different, as well, it comes with a, um, a ball joint as well. Let's turn it on. And you see, now it's not going to have all the RGB. It only has two buttons, but look how clear that, you know, how clear that is for me. Just hit the button, it goes. So the less you, you, you're able to do with it, the easier it becomes to manage without an app. And so this right now is going for, um, for $69.99, I think, on Amazon. And you can see as you turn it up, it's telling you how many hours you're going to get out of it. So when does that go down to 50%, it tells me two out two hours and 2.3 hours. And you go turn it all the way up, talk about 1.3 hours. You turn it all the way down to like 1% or 15%, you can see you get more. So then even with the cow, you know, changing, you know, you could change everything. Can you? So I like this better, but again, look how clear that screen is. I can see that screen from here from where I'm looking at, it. but, and it's easy to use without an app. These don't come with apps. So, you know, it's a little bit easier to use without an app, but you know, if you didn't want to spend a one sixty nine ninety nine, you know, for this, now I'm telling you, it's worth getting. Um, Besides the app, but it's worth getting. If you needed something, just something simple, these two will work as well. They're very good. Um, they're not that expensive. And I understand that we have, um, you know, we have a lot, you know, as far as the um, inflation that, you know, I always try to give you a couple of more, you know, a couple of more, you know, choices. So if you couldn't get this one, you can get this one. Or if you didn't need the color, you can get this one. And I'm going to throw another one in just for good measure. 
the Loom Cube Mini. Now I call it a mini. I forgot how much this is. So please forgive me. I don't know how much this one is, but it's the same configuration as this. But you can see it's a lot smaller. But again, if you didn't need something this big or that big, you need something that small, it's still the same thing. Now the screen is a little bit smaller, but it's still readable. You know, at 20%, you know, now you're not going to get as much battery as this. You're only going to get 40, maybe an hour at full charge. But as you can see, it still gets bright. You know, it still gets bright. It's still easy to use. Um, you can change everything with it as well. So I would tell you if money is a, a factor, you know, it is going to be a factor. A lot of people purchase decisions. I will also put these down in the description just in case you did not need something as powerful as this. But you just needed something that would do the job. I have three options. Well, you have four options, but three other options. So you can, you know, if, if your money's tight and I know everybody's is, you have another option. So just let's get back to the regular view. Give my final thoughts on this puppy here. All right. See you in a minute, guys. Yo, yo, I'm back to give my final thoughts and giving the Zhiyun, Z-H-I-Y-U-N, 5-Ray M20C full light combo RGB. And I'm going to give it a B minus. I'm going to give it a B minus. Um, and the reason why I'm going to give it a B minus the good first, the good is, man, this comes with a lot. For $169, I think this is worth every bit of $160 for everything that you get. From focusing the light, you get your honeycomb, you get your diffuser, and you also get, you know, the cage. I mean, well, the accessory right here, so you can put more cold shoe, hot shoe. I'm going to put all the cold shoes because they're going to be a hot shoe, cold shoe up here. So it's very versatile and I, and I and I like the versatility. I really do like the versatility. Now you got to know how to put this back on. Now when you use it, the diffuser goes all the way, for, goes on first. Don't be like me and try to do it the other way. It didn't work. So you want to put the diffuser on first. You want to put the honeycomb on second. Then you want to put this on third, and then it has the four things. So you want to know that if um, you know it goes, it goes one, two, three, four. Okay, um, I do like it. it's very powerful. It has to have a fan on it because it does get hot. So I do like the design of it. Now they say this is pocketable, and I can see it can be if you take everything else off of it, put it in your pocket. You can um, now without you know the cage. I call it, but I forgot what it's called. Without the um, this thing here, you don't have no way to put it on your camera. So you actually really do need the cage. You really do need the um, the thing that you use to put all the accessories on. This this puppy right here, it makes it makes it so versatile. For without that, you're looking at 139. So I think. Spending the extra thirty dollars, a little forty dollars to get the, the extra stuff to it is good. I do like it. I like the power of it. I like how bright it gets. It gets it gets really bright, guys. Um, I'm trying to keep this as I'm trying to keep this as low as possible. I mean, as short as possible. But it does get light. It, it does get bright. Um, as you can see here, it gets bright does get right now that's what the diffuser on but it gets bright Ooh. Ooh. it gets bright um and um the fan did come on when i was using it it's pretty it's, it's, it's loud it's not like terrible loud but it is loud um so that right here is pretty good i like that now the thing i'm going to kind of get on i think the screen is low quality um compared to the Ulan Z or the the loom cube and it just could be me could be my eyesight is going bad i think the screen on this one this puppy right here the zunjin um the um the five ray um is a little bit lacking i don't know what type of 
what quality the screen was. I understand you have to hit a price point, so the screen might not be as quality. To me, it didn't look as good as the other ones um, for the price it is. And I'm gonna ding it because it should not come with a, should not come with a carrying case looking like this. To be honest with you, sorry, it should come with a hard case. It should come with a hard case that you can put it in. So if it drops, something happened to it, it won't break because you drop this even with this, you're going to have to. So you want to pack this if you can't pack it with something. So if it drops or get banged around, it won't get messed up. I think it should have came with a hard case. I'm going to ding you for that for $169, you know, hard case. I got a, I got a, um, what is it called? A gimbal that was probably 150, 130. 40 or something like that. I can't remember. That came with a hard case. This should come with a hard case, guys. Stop being cheap. This right here, not good. Should come with a hard case. Um, ding it for that. And I'm really ding it for the app. Listen, guys, I went on I went on the website. It did not tell me. I went to other creators and you no know, way better than me, way more advanced than me. And they didn't mention that maybe they didn't have the problem. Maybe it's only on the Android side that the the Apple side you know, works better. And that could be true. Could be 100% true is more optimized for Apple products. Could be. But if you're going to sell this to Android or people who don't have Apple, you know, whether it's um, Android, which is a lot, but, you know, Google, you know, Samsung, whatever, you need to make sure your app work. You need to make sure your app work. I'm going to write an email to them. Hopefully they get it. I'm explaining to them what the trouble I had with the app. Um, the app to me was the problem and I'm a ding it, you know, to a B minus because if, if my wife would have bought something like this, say she said, she's seen it. Oh, I need a light. I want to do something. Or I want to take videos. I want to take pictures or my sister, my mom, who they are tech savvy. I mean, they're, they're decent, but it took me two hours and I only stumbled on the problem because I started deleting stuff, trying to see stuff, and then it worked. So it took me two hours. I even, you know, manually upgraded the firmware, which is supposed to be up, be able to upgrade through the app. So if I didn't find that, that means this wouldn't have never connected to my phone. And to me, you know, I'm not advanced as other people. I'm not going to... You know, I probably won't even use, you know, I'll probably use 50% of what this can do. Because it even, you know, and I didn't show it, but there's a way to hook it up where you can actually have music playing and it will like kind of blink different colors with the music. You know, there's a lot of things this this does. I'm going to be using it for video, um, be using it for maybe, I'm going to buy another one because I am going to buy another one. i be using it when I do headshots, portable, but yet powerful. All the accessories makes good for headshots, different lighting arrangements. Perfect. Um, but without the app, and my mom or anybody, the average user would have gotten to this and could not get the app working, a lot of that stuff they would not be able to use. Yeah, you can use it, you know, with the little screen. Future, make the screen bigger. In the future, add buttons for the color. You know, so I can just press a button, don't have to press a button, press a button, press a button. You want blue, red, green, whatever. You know, however you, you know, I understand you try to keep it at a certain price point and maybe I'm just being, you know, um, petty Ruspin. But to me, if I did, if I, if it took me two hours to figure out, the average consumer is not going to figure it out. And, and everybody don't have an iPhone. You know, out of everybody in my house, everybody has an Android. Only one person has an iPhone. Now that might be different in other people's houses, but I believe that the app should work as soon as it down is. You shouldn't have to fit around with it. You shouldn't have to delete nothing. You shouldn't have to do none of that. Everything I showed y'all, you shouldn't have to do. So I'm going to give it, this is just, you know, you know, the get for I'm going to give this a B minus. To me, it could have been almost an A if the app would have worked when I, when I download it, try to hook it up. And I'm barely tech savvy. Somebody else would have bought this that wasn't tech savvy. They would have been, they would have been returning it. So I'm going to give it a B minus. It has a lot of use cases. Um, 20 watts of power, you know, fast charge, two hours charging, 40 minutes of use all the way on high. Um, can't beat it. 
it's a good product, but I think what messes this up to give it a B minus is because the app to really benefit this, to get the colors, to use a lot of stuff, you need to use the app. That's just for me. You know what I'm saying? A lot of y'all play, well, no, we don't. You need to me, you need an app. So guys, I'm going to give it a B minus. And please, I know I did a little rant or a rant or a rage or whatever you want to call it. Got on my soapbox, whatever you want to call it. But I think if you're selling something for 169, it does a lot of stuff. And you introduce an app, the app needs to work as soon as you download it. Somebody, people should have to be trying to figure out ways to get around it. it should work soon as you download it so i'm gonna give it a b minus uh guys do me a favor do me a favor please like share and subscribe give me them thumbs up those thumbs ups really really i mean please share like like share subscribe you know if, if i hopefully i earned your subscription but please give me a thumbs up thumbs up help us get deeper into the youtube algorithm sorry this video is a little long but i think you know with something like this you really want people to be able to make a um make a purchase decision that's going to help them and it's not going to cause more irritation in their life than they already have um so please forgive me if this video's a little long but please like share subscribe thank my new and current subscribers current and new subscribe for rocking with your boy again thank y'all for for allowing me to 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 get better because man for them three weeks four weeks man me and my wife was struggling everybody in this house was sick so yet again this is your boy the ghetto Ogfer. AKA Pastor Ted, thank you for rocking out with me on another Boston Journey. Guys, we got some amazing new products coming up. I even got a present that my wife gave me for Valentine's Day that we're going to be doing an unboxing on because it's something to do with something else. You'll see, you'll see. So that's coming soon as well. So y'all have a good day. See you. Please do me a favor. Please, please hit the notification button, bell icon, so you can be notified anytime we drop a video. And you have a good day. Peace.